Welcome back to the homestead. Today we're going to do our uh, brooders. We're doing a uh, four by four chicken brooders. So we're going to get started by cutting this plywood at two foot uh, increments. And, uh, we'll show you what that looks like. Never mind the background noise. It's a little uh, windy today, 40 mile an hour wind. So it's something we got to deal with as well. So we'll get started here. Okay, we got our boards marked here. We're going to go ahead and get the saw out and cut those and uh, we'll go from there. We marked it at two, every two feet. This yep. is an eight foot board. Two feet. These are 24 inches long, just like we did our boards. So we're going to make a perfect square here, and uh, we'll design a top to put on it, and we'll show you what that looks like when we're done. And how are you joining them together? I'm just joining them together with nails, and uh, I'll use some screws as well. Okay, we're uh, putting the two by twos in here. Uh, I nail one side, and I screw the other, so we can take these apart when we're done. So so we can store them that way. So that'll make things a lot easier for when we do this process again with our meat chickens. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay. Yeah, we're just using some scrap wood we found in the barn to try to make the top of this. We're going to make it the hinge where it can go either side, kind of like a butterfly. So we're going to put this framing together for the top and then we'll put the, uh, the screening or the hard wire cloth on, on top of that. So it should make it pretty strong, keep the uh, predators out we hope. So. Amen for scrap wood with the prices right now. <laughs> True, yeah. Okay, we got our uh, metal for the top cut. Got our frames built for our doors. And uh, this is the half inch hardware cloth. And basically all we do is, is uh, staple it around there. I use kind of extra staples here in the corners just to make it stronger. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's relatively pretty, well. Well, we didn't attach it yet with the, the things. It's gonna be relatively pretty stout, so. And then it looks like this because this is extra hardware cloth that we had when we painted it black for our coop at our old house. So. Like I said, we just found some scrap wood in the barn to, to make these work. It's nothing elaborate, but it'll, uh, it'll definitely serve its purpose. So basically, we just got some uh, removable pin hinges, utility hinges from uh, Home Depot we're going to use. And uh, these are the latches here, so we'll, uh, we'll put these on and show you what it looks like. And these will go here to lift the doors yeah. on either side. Yeah. So we're just putting a staple about every six inches or so. Don't need a ton of staples in this. You just want something where they can't pry up underneath of it and get in there. And here somebody is sleeping on the job. So we was able to uh, get the brooder in the old garage here. We was able to put the hardware on the uh, on the doors, so we just use a single utility hinge over here, and on this side we used a uh, a hasp. Uh, I guess that's how you say it. Um, so we're just going to use a carabiner to hold those closed. I can kind of open this and show you how it works. So, I mean, it's a little flimsy the way it is like that, but once you put this down here and you put the carabiner in there, I mean, it's it's pretty solid. Okay, so our next step is going to be to put a tarp down at the bottom. We're going to put our uh, pine shavings in the bottom and we're going to kind of collect the compost. So the next time you see this uh, see a video again, you'll see some baby chicks in here, hopefully. Yeah, next time you see the brooder.
watching our videos and uh, hope you uh, like and subscribe for more uh, DIYs around the farm. Thanks.